Life is unpredictable. Who would imagine the Tom girl out there would turn into the person who's standing in front of you guys? Boycott hair and always in athletic wear. A rock music fan and an ardent sportsman. I'd amend authoritative, bold, and sometimes kind of cold. Hated anything girly, like from clothes to jewelry to makeup to gossip. Little did I imagine that one day I would be in a movie shaking my hips. I was a very boyish girl. There was only one thing I knew as a kid. I wanted to make it really big in life. I wanted to make it so big that I could inspire the world. I grew up in the UAE, and when I was in grade seven, I won the Best Actress Award at a national level drama competition. And my English teacher, who was in charge of the drama, came up to me and said, Parvati, I think you have it in you. You should be a movie star. And what I thought to myself was, or was she being sarcastic? Because guys, look at this picture of me. Yeah, that's me. I look like this dude who can get half of those pretty girls out there. Yeah. <laughs> and so, I thought she was being sarcastic. But there was one thing for sure. I was very passionate and very ambitious. I had a zeal to work towards all my goals. From being the school topper to the head girl to later becoming an actress. But the zeal to become an actress did not happen till a much later part of my life. I'll tell you why. Uh, it all began uh, when I got selected to host a TV show during my 10th grade vacations. I started getting a lot of recognition and modeling offers right after that show. But I come from a conservative family with a very conservative upbringing. So, becoming something like an actress was something I could not even dream of. My parents did not even let me take up the modeling offers I got then. I was an artist, I was very, fa uh, very fond of paintings and uh, art, so I want to take up art as my subject in my 11th grade. These are a few of my paintings, a very few amateur paintings, abstract. But my principal, who was a science professor herself, brainwashed me into taking up science, saying, Parvati, you're the school topper in science. If you do not take up science as your subject, it would be embarrassing for the science department. And yes, I had to take up science, and like most other science students, I went into engineering. But there's one good thing about engineering, which I'll tell you guys about much later at the end of my speech. And so my brother, seeing my disappointment, came up to me and said, now that you're stuck doing this, why don't you at least go to a college where you can have some fun? I've heard MIT is a very cool college. And so I convinced my parents that I wanted to go to MIT at Manipal, as it is one of the best engineering colleges in the country. So my parents agreed, and there I was at Manipal. I suddenly had the freedom to do everything I ever wanted. It was the most amazing time of my life. I started modeling without telling my parents, and I also started taking part in a few pageants. Keeping this a secret was very important because I had to pursue my dreams without disappointing my parents. I was so paranoid about this secret that I ended up changing my name from Parvati Venugopal to Parvati Nair in the modeling industry. Yes, guys, in case my parents saw my name on the papers or Google, they shouldn't find me, right? So this is what I did. But this whole thing came into limelight when I started winning a couple of pageants like the Miss Mandelwood and Miss Navy Queen. And when my parents came to know about this, to my surprise, they were quite proud of me. Yeah. With this, a few more endorsements followed, more ads, and a few movie offers. I was really tempted to try some movie, but of course, I knew how my parents were. I buckled up the courage and convinced them that I want to do one film after which I would pursue my further studies. My parents, after a lot of thinking, finally agreed. But they had a lot of reservations. No short skirts, no intimate scenes, no kissing scenes, etc., etc., etc. I knew that it is 
It's very difficult to become an actress with all these conditions, but I agreed. I remember going for this movie meeting with my mom. It was for a movie starring a top Kannada star. When the director said that the role would be glamorous, my mom stood up and said, sorry, her father doesn't like her doing such movies, and walked out. I mean, you guys would faint if you hear the name of the actor. I wouldn't want to mention it here. I was heartbroken, disappointed, because not very often does an aspiring actress get a movie with a star, right? But well, like Shah Rukh Khan says, picture abhi bhi baki hai mere dost. So I kept waiting, and to my luck, I started getting a few movies with my conditions. I even started doing some unglamorous roles. I did not really care as long as I had a chance to perform. It was after I won an award for my very first movie that my parents finally realized that this is probably what I am meant to do. With this started more achievements, more recognitions, and more support from my family. So there are a few things that I have learned from my journey, from that Tom girl to this actress. The first being patience. Patience is a quality that I never had as I grew up. But in this industry, I've realized that everybody has a different journey, and I have mine. I may achieve things slowly, but I will achieve them someday. Patience is the most important quality everybody needs to have if you want to be a part of this industry. The second, maturity. Again, a quality that I never had as I grew up. Uh, in this industry, you realize that you cannot be like how you're at home. You need to be mature, handle situations and people like an adult. A lot of things may not seem fair around you, but you need to be cool and mature at any kind of situation that you come across. Working with a few veterans helped me grow as a person as well as an actor. Staying strong. This is again, I think, one of the most beautiful things that I acquired being in this industry, strength. However successful you are as a person, you will have your ups and downs. I've had a struggle in my life, and I think that made me stronger. And I think everybody should go through some kind of difficulty at the initial part of their career, because that makes you a much stronger person. There were times that I was casted in big movies opposite big stars and got replaced the last minute. There were times I waited a good six to eight months for a dream project to start, just to realize that the project got dropped. These are situations that are not in your hand. You may sometimes wonder, why did she replace me? Is she better than me? I don't think so. Yeah, it happens to a lot of us. But everything may not seem fair in this industry. You'll have to just stay strong and be patient. A very important or beautiful change in my life is that I've become a much more spiritual person and a more giving person I've come into the industry. As strange as it may seem, yes. I believe in karma. I believe in the power of the mind. There are several times in this industry that you would just want to give up. And that's when being spiritual helps you get back to your work and fight for your ultimate goal. These are a few campaigns that I was very fortunate to be a part of. I kick-started the Swaj Bharat campaign in Bangalore, an ambassador for the Red Ribbon Revolution. And guys, there's one thing I want to say. I think the greatest achievement till date, being an actor, for me, has been that I could be a part of these amazing, wonderful campaigns. The fifth and the most important point, according to me, a more open relationship with my parents. It is very important for all of us to be very open with our parents. The earlier we are open with our parents, the faster we can attain success in anything we do in our lives. Try this out, guys. It may be difficult initially because they are from a different generations, but if you break the barrier and make them understand, there are no better well-wishers than our parents in our lives. 
how the roles that I've done have influenced me as a person. I was very lucky to get various uh, performance-oriented characters and intense roles in my career. These roles did not just make me understand different kinds of people and their lives and what they go through. It also made me a more liberal and less judgmental person. I think that's a very positive impact that these roles have had on my life. Now, what I want to tell all of you guys who are aspiring to be in this industry. Do not get into this industry thinking it is going to be easy. It is one of the most stressful industries. It's unpredictable, and it may not seem very fair. Do not get into it if you think the actors have a very fun, fancy, and flamboyant life. A lot of people in the industry might be the most insecure people as well. Only if you are hardworking, determined, passionate, and lucky do you achieve success in this field. You need to make a lot of sacrifices as well. But one thing I tell you, for those people who think that they have not been lucky or they're generally not lucky with getting their things, I believe we all can create our own luck with a lot of hard work and determination. And one advice, especially to the girls, aspiring actresses, uh, you might encounter a lot of fake people, a lot of fake promises. A lot of people might um, give you help or advise you or tell you that they'll make you meet some people. Uh, that director is my best friend and the hero is really close to me. People try to be your godfathers. Please do not fall for this trap because this does not work. If everybody who had contacts and godfathers made it big, a lot many more people would have achieved a lot more. It is only your hard work, your determination, your focus, your dedication that is going to help you attain success in this field. You need to be extremely strong emotionally and mentally to sustain in this industry. Be very cautious about the kind of people who are trying to who are going to try to lure you, lure you into offers or uh, give you advices which you don't need. Just be focused and work your way. Do not take anybody's help, according to me. It's also very important to create your own identity. Do not try to imitate anybody. If you take any big superstar that we have, they are big because they have their own USP. They are big because they have their own identity. So be original and create something original. Do not try to imitate anybody else. To conclude, I would like to say that I believe in the quote that when you really, really want something, the whole universe conspires in helping you achieve it. Not everybody's journey in this industry is going to be very smooth. Mine was not. But today, I get a chance to stand in front of you and speak my experiences and tell you my story. It took a lot of hard work and determination to get till here. So be focused and if you are original and if you are into this industry with all your heart and soul, nobody can pull you down. You will achieve success even if it's slow. Everybody has a different timeline, remember. So do not think, why am I not getting it fast? Why is that person you know, getting this great film to start with, why am I not noticed? If you are good, you would be noticed. Just be patient and wait for it. I also believe that a person's inner beauty is way more powerful than the outer beauty. Even in this industry, which is apparently dominated by looks, your character, your personality, and your inner beauty speaks more. People respect you for your character and personality more than your beauty, even as an actor. Remember that. I also believe that happiness is the highest level of success. So only do things which make you happy. Also remember that the most successful people are also very giving. They might not tell you, they might not get a chance to do a TEDx talk, all the big stars, but they're all very, very giving. Be more giving, 
and you get more in your life. And remember I told you there's one good thing about being an engineering student? For all the engineers out there, who are the engineers out here? <laughs> the good part is you get four good years to sit and think about what you want to do in life.